This is Xavier from Army Recognition and we are at AUSA 2014 exhibition in Washington DC with uh, Catherine Athey, yes. the program director for the GLTV at Lockheed Martin. Catherine, thank you very much for welcoming us on your exhibit at AUSA. Thank you. Can you start by uh, telling us the spirit behind Lockheed Martin's GLTV? Sure, I'd be happy to do that. What you see behind me is, is one of our EMD configuration vehicles. It is a general purpose vehicle. We had the opportunity to participate with our government in the first phase of the program, and we had the opportunity to start with a clean sheet of paper and to design our JLTV around the needs of the war fighter. We did have the opportunity to see what was happening in theater in Afghanistan in Iraq. We understood what was happening with the IEDs and the impact of blast events and the need for mobility and to not be constrained to improved surfaces. So we took all of that into account as we did our refinements for our EMD vehicle and they're manifested here. Um, what somebody who came to our booth would see is a vehicle that is performing very, very well in our government blast testing. You see a vehicle that has a very high degree of mobility that's facilitated by our suspension system and a vehicle that's very reliable. We built on our technology development design which left that phase of the program at a very high degree of, of reliability and we're just continuing to build on that now. Why do you feel your GLTV should uh, be selected by the U.S. Army? Uh, we really believe that we are providing the most capable vehicle to our soldiers and to our Marines, and we're going to do it at a very affordable cost. All right, Catherine, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome.